Hi everyone, it's Derek here from Adumed. Welcome to today's video based on a case study on acute coronary syndrome. Over the next few minutes, I'll help you to build on the skill of applying all your knowledge in a practical way. So I've attached a link to our ACS theory video, which contains a breakdown of all the information you need to get through this case study. Don't forget to pause just before the end of each question, write your answer down and click continue when you're ready to move on. So with all of that said, let's dive straight in. David is a 76 year old gentleman who presents to you following an episode of exertional chest pain which occurred yesterday following some gardening. This pain lasted for around 15 minutes with typical cardiac features of the sweating being constricted in nature and radiating down his left hand. He is currently pain free. He's got a past medical history of raised cholesterol and CKD. He takes a tolvastatin 20 milligram. So you reviewed David at your clinic today and decide to admit him to hospital. In hospital, he has a few tests done and ends up being diagnosed with unstable angina. So our first question, following his hospital discharge, David presents to you asking for lifestyle advice surrounding foods he should eat and physical activity as he's not sure he's allowed to do anything. What do you tell him? We advise a Mediterranean style diet. Now, without going into too many specifics about this, it's essentially a diet based on plant food. So it's filled with loads of fruits and vegetables. Looking at exercise and physical activity, current nice guidance suggests that this should continue, but to the point of slight breathlessness. 20 to 30 minutes a day is suggested. Question two. David's hospital discharge summary includes details about his echocardiogram, which reveals a preserved ejection fracture of 55%. He's been discharged on several medications for secondary prevention. He would like to know how long he needs to be on his bisoprolol 5 milligrams for. So to answer this question, it's important to look at current NICE guidance. This outlines that patients who have preserved ejection fraction can discontinue the beta blocker after 12 months of treatment. So 12 months will be the answer in this case. Moving on to our last question, question three. In addition to his bisoprolol 5 milligrams, he has also been discharged on Ramipril 2.5 milligrams, aspirin 75 milligrams, Ticagrelor 90 milligrams, and atolvastatin 80 milligrams. So in what situation would you need to reduce a dose of satin from a satin 80 milligrams to a satin 20 milligrams? Well, we know that David has a history of CKD. If he was to have bloods that revealed an EGFR of less than 60 and an albumin creatinine ratio done, which shows a level of three or more, then his dose of statin will need to be reduced to a total statin 20 milligrams. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out our case study playlist. These type of videos are really good because they help you to apply all your theoretical knowledge in a practical way. So until the next time, I'll see you soon.